Well, let's pick up on that conversation earlier and talk about a woman who works to ensure young mothers can still go back to school and embrace essential life skills. Anne Metu became a mom at 19 and from her own experience, she set up the Young Mothers Africa, an organization that now helps teen mothers pick up the pieces of their shattered lives. Her work that has also earned her a recognition from, among, among others, the Beale and Melinda Gates Foundation is a focus of this week's Women in Power. My name is Anne, and me too. I'm the founder of Young Mothers Africa. It's a community-based organization that we create awareness on issues surrounding teenage pregnancy, how to curb it, and life after the fact. Growing up, I definitely knew I wanted to be in media because I loved acting a lot. I was in the drama club. Immediately after finishing high school, I got pregnant. My dad got really mad at me. Both my parents actually. They didn't see me for a very long time. But now the guy took me in and he didn't refuse the responsibility and all that. A year later, he passed away. First, I was actually in denial, thinking that he might walk in the house, he might come back. And I, I, my mom had to talk to me, and um, she is an orphan, so she tried talking to me out away from that and my thinking to change so that I can concentrate, of course, with my son. Since I didn't have papers, I only had high school papers. So I had to think of something to do. So I started doing commission work first, selling shoes, uh, which uh, if you sell today, you get something. If you don't sell, you don't get anything. So from that, I started selling bajiers, cross street, in the street with my son. I uh, will go open up, sell the bajiers, go back home, count the coins, go back again to the next day. So from there, I, I got a, a quite bigger job, I would say, <laughs> in town to be there selling credit card, the safari common stuff. So once in a while, when I'm left in the shop, and then I hear post or I see post on audition, I would close the shop. Go And for that show, I did audition for a character called Shiro. Shiro was a 16-year-old girl who lives in the slum and has a baby. So the character that I got really merged with my real life. And I was like, okay. <laughs> for them to come up with this character, they must have done a research on the character. I started while I was 22 years old. That was back in 2014. And then me talking to my girls, became a thing that, oh, I can talk to other girls within the community. I had younger girls than me who are 15, 16, 17. They're pregnant. They don't know who to talk to, the stigma that they are going through. I decided to come here at this facility to actually ask first about contraceptives and see the, how they'll treat me and such stuff. So the nurse who was here brought me inside and told me, you know, if you want to plan for your family, this and this and this and this. So she gave me like various methods of family planning and of course condom. So I asked her about the girls within. She told me about the numbers of girls that come in. And then I requested if I can become a volunteer so that it can be easier for me to have access to the girls who come into the facility. I have as young as 15-year-old young mothers, and they're different type of stories. I have, there are those who have been raped. So there's rape that is something that it's not avoidable in some circumstances. But there are girls who, are, who get pregnant because of poverty levels, where they have been brought up, where they have been born. And there are few who say that it's because they were looking for money for sanitary towels. Like how do you explain a 14-year-old girl who's pregnant and she was not raped? It means that our girls are sexually active. So what do we do? Let's talk about the big elephant in the room. 